Hello everyone, thanks so much for joining me today and welcome back to Time with Lydia, the pharmacist. I hope you have enjoyed our series so far on breast cancer. You know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I am sure we have all updated our knowledge on breast cancer. Today I'm going to be spending some time with you showing you how you can self-examine your breast or how you can check your breast step by step. So what does it mean to be breast aware? Every woman's breast is different in terms of size, shape and consistency. It's also possible for one breast to be larger than the other. Get used to how your breasts feel at different times of the month. This can change during your menstrual cycle. For example, some women have tender and lumpy breasts, especially near the armpit around the time of their period and also after menopause normal breast feel softer less firm and not as lumpy when you self-examine your breast or when you check your breast what do you look for it's not just lumps you look for when you check your breast there are several other indicators of breast cancer that you can look for too Get in touch with your doctor if you notice one or a combination of the following changes in your breast. Dimpling, puckering or bulging of the skin, redness, soreness or swelling, a nipple that has changed position, an inverted nipple, that is the nipple is pushed inward instead of sticking out, a clear or bloody fluid leaking from your nipple. You can check out my recent video on the symptoms of breast cancer. So now our main focus for today, how to perform a breast check. Step number one, you need to look. Stand in front of the mirror and begin to look at your breast in the mirror with your shoulders straight and your arms on your hips. Here is what you should see. You should see breasts that are their usual size, shape, and color breasts that are evenly shaped without visible distortion or swelling but if you see any of the following such as dimpling rashes an inverted nipple a swelling or any lump then you know it's time to visit your doctor step number two raise your arms look again at your breast with your arms above your head and look for the same changes. Step number three, lean forward. Now lean forward so that there is a pendulum effect in your breast. Look for any dimpling, puckering or bulging of the skin. And step number four, whilst you are standing in front of the mirror, look for any fluid coming out of one or both nipples. And this could be fluid that is watery, yellowish, bloody, or milky, especially if you are not breastfeeding or pregnant. Step number five, fill your breast whilst lying down, using your right hand to fill your left breast, and then your left arm to fill your right breast. Now, use a smooth touch with the first three finger parts of your hand, keeping the fingers flat and together. Use a circular motion. Check the entire breast from top to bottom, side to side, from your collarbone to the top of your abdomen and from your armpit to your cleavage. And in this case, you need to follow a pattern to be sure that you cover the whole breast. You can begin at the nipple moving in larger and larger circles until you reach the outer edge of your breast. You can also move your fingers up and down vertically in rows as if you were mowing a lawn. This up and down approach seems to work best for most women. And step number six, which is the final step, fill your breast whilst you're sitting or standing. Many women find that the easiest way to fill their breast is when their skin is wet and slippery. So they like to do the step 
in the shower. Cover your entire breast using the same hand movement. I hope you have learned something new today. You know, checking your breast is recommended at least once a month. So any changes can be cut as early as possible and dealt with effectively. Please give this video a thumbs up, share with your family and friends. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for your time today and I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.